What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here live at Talking Stick. And I have a very special guest. I'm joined today by Dodgers prospect guru, my friend, Mr. Tim Rogers. You can follow him at SD Dodgers. He is the lead editor in chief of Dodgers 2080. If you want to know anything about Dodger prospects, go to Dodgers2080.com. But how you doing, Mr. Tim Rogers? Oh, very good. We had a really good morning over uh, watching the Dodgers do their practices and stuff with the minor leaguers. Really good stuff today. Just first and foremost, like how great is it to have baseball back? Oh, man. You forget how, sometimes how much you miss it. Then you get out there and you see everything going on. You see the players doing their thing and just have, you know, seeing Kershaw out here. It's just wonderful. Yeah, it's just amazing. I mean, so thrilled. Just the sounds of the game, the sights of the game. It's a beautiful place to be. But how closely have you been following Dodger Spring training? How are you watching all the games, every inning? Who are you looking at? First question I have for you, though, is are there any prospects that are standing out right now? Well, obviously, Miguel Vargas. I mean, that so, to some of us, it's not a surprise. You know, I saw him in 2019 at Rancho, and he was only 19 himself. And so, you know, he hit, hit a lot of balls pretty far, but they landed the warning track. Um, but his hit tool is amazing. His father was kind of Cuban legend in, uh, in Cuba. And so there, it's in the genes. The hit tool's there. You see he can spray the ball to all fields. I think he'll keep minimize the strikeouts. Just where does he play? That's always the question. Yeah, first and foremost, I don't think that home run he hit yesterday has landed yet. Yeah. He didn't absolute tank that poor baseball. But, yeah, we actually talked to him after the game. They asked him that same question, where do you think he's going to play? First base, this and that. They asked him, where does he feel most comfortable? And he said, in the batter's box. Yeah. So as long as he can hit, that's all he really cares about. But got lots of questions that want to get off uh, on some of these Dodger prospects. What I want to really start with is you got the Dodgers' big pitching prospects. You got Bobby Miller, you have Ryan Pepio, you have Landon Knack, of course, Andre Jackson. He made his debut last year. But what can you tell me about Bobby Miller? A lot of excitement about Bobby Miller. Do you think he profiles as a future frontline starter, ace type pitcher? Yeah, I'm starting to get that feeling. Um, it seems like uh, despite the Tommy John surgery with Walker Bueller, he, w you know, he came in with, as a lower pick and then all of a sudden started showing up near the top of the prospect list. And I kind of see that with Bobby Miller. And, um, you know, I don't want to do any comparisons. That's kind of not fair. But I, I see something pretty exciting about him. Yeah, it's funny how he's gotten those Walker Buehler comparisons because you see the fire, you see the bravado, and I see that heat. I mean, he's got that plus-plus heat. He's got a plus slider. He's been working on that changeup, and they've kind of smoothed out his delivery a bit. But next one I need to ask you about, of course, is Mr. Ryan Pepio. You were on Ryan Pepio before most. You're kind of the president of the Ryan Pepio fan club. Uh, what have you seen so far from him this spring? Uh, well, you know, we, we did see that his de debut, and it didn't go as well as I'm sure he wanted. But if you notice, the ball was moving quite a bit. Um, he did have some control issues, but he just has to find a way to zero in with that command as that ball is moving a ton. It's just got to keep in the strike zone a little bit longer to get more swing and misses. But I, li I still like what I see. I'm still, you know, as, as Ben would say, the, uh, the Ryan Pepio marching and chowder uh, society. Yeah, 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 yeah. So do you see him making an impact on the club this year potentially? Do you think he'll get the call up, make his MLB debut? Um, in, in some ways, I hope not because that means things kind of went south. Yeah, that's true. But at the same time, if he earns it, that's the thing yeah. with the Dodgers. Even if they have things going on with, with other players, they'll find a way to get a guy in. So I'd love to see him really impress in AAA. I think he will. I think he's, he's it's there. Um, I still think, though, the first call up, if he's not, if he doesn't make the opening day roster, is is Andre Jackson. I mean, the guy's, he's proven already that he's a major yeah. league pitcher. So I think he would be first. And then, you know, Pepio maybe. I don't, then, then it gets a little, I don't know. Yeah, no, you can tell with Andre Jackson, you just kind of see him around, kind of has that confidence yeah. that, like, he's certified. He's made his big league debut. He had some success at Dodger Stadium. He's proven to himself that he can do it. So next question I have for you is sometimes we talk, who are the un untouchable Dodgers prospects. Who do you think is the most untouchable Dodger prospect in their farm system? It's Diego Cartaya. It has to be. Yeah. But I think Miller might be right getting close. He is close. And I heard you tell me earlier you saw Diego Cartaya this morning. You, had, you talked to him a little bit. I think that, look, you've seen the progression with him. You see the talent. He's an unbelievable prospect. But next one I want to ask you about is who are some prospects down the farm that you could see making a leap this year? 
Yeah, um, one of the guys, there was a couple. One of them is Luis Rodriguez. I, I actually met him this morning. Yeah. And um, yeah. the, he's a guy that has been talked about. I think he will be at Rancho this year. I'm excited to see him. Still a young guy. He's another, like, 18-year-old kid, maybe 19. I, haven't, I forgot to check as of this day. But I think he's one of those guys. I watched him practicing today. He was out in center field, which I liked. I wasn't sure if they were going to have him in center. So he was in center, looking good. Um, there's a lot of talent there. He might be a five-tool guy. Might be a five-tool guy. I like that one. I like the hidden gems. Now, next question. I know you're a very positive guy. I know you've called yourself maybe a prospect hugger in the past. You don't want to say anything negative, but are there any prospects that you're once high on that maybe they're trending in the wrong direction right now? Ooh, man, that's a tough one. Um, Probably those guys have already been moved off the team, is okay. my guess. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be a little careful. I'm going to be a little political with yeah, you I know, there, I know, Doug. I know. Try to get you with that one. But, um, yeah. okay, last one when it comes to the prospects. You can buy stock in three Dodger prospects only. Who are those three prospects? Wow. So I'm going to, I'm going real long term stock, stocks here. So it's definitely Cartaya. Um, I'm going to lean into shortstop Wilman Diaz. Nice. It's another one. And then I guess I'm going to throw a pitcher in there, and I will take the easy way and go Bobby Miller. There, that's my man, Mr. Tim Rogers. Like I said, if you're a big fan of the Los Angeles Dodgers, you got to, one, follow Tim at SD Dodger, and two, check out his website. He's the lead editor. He's the founder of Dodgers2080.com. All things Dodger prospects, you're going to find it over there, the prospect guru. So then, when the prospects come and make their big league debut, you already know all about them. So thank you very much, Mr. Tim Rogers. Uh, really one, appreciate one it. Thing, one Yo. thing, Doug. So I've been out taking a ton of pictures. Go to at Dodgers2080 on Instagram. Instagram, and I got a ton of pictures of all these prospects. That's right. So you hear that? Go follow Dodgers 2080 on Instagram. He's got tons of pictures of the Dodgers prospects. But thanks a lot for joining us here on the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. And for you guys down below in the comment section, what do you guys think about some of these Dodger prospects? Who is your untouchable Dodgers prospect right now? Is it Bobby Miller? Is it Diego Cartaya, like Mr. Tim Rogers said? Let me know down below. And until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.